Hello fountain pen people. I'm back to my alphabetical review of fountain pens and today we're going to be talking about obviously a Carolina Penco pen. This pen was a prototype that Jonathan Brooks sold. I believe it was through an Instagram posting and they were sold without nib units. Um, it's unusual in that it has a Bach nib unit and as um, his Note said, along with the pen, he said, thank you so much for your purchase and support. Please remember that your pen will use a number six Bach nib unit, which I put in it. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Jonathan Brooks is a very nice man. I met him at the San Francisco Pen Show in 2018, um, and it was uh, a, a, a good opportunity to see some of the things he did, and I've no found a bit more out of, about him since then. Uh, if you go to his website, you can see here the carolinapencompany.com. Uh, you can see some of the fantastic work he does. And um, one of the things that he is exceptionally well known for is the, um, besides the pens that he makes and the Arushi work that he does and all the other things, is that he makes pen blanks. And um, that is the raw materials for making pens. And clearly he made this one. This is kind of a coppery one. It's beautiful. Um, he also made the material for this Atelier Lousseau pen, um, which I reviewed earlier. Um, he also has made uh, material for pens, um, pen companies like Stipula and Leonardo, and um, he also makes the blanks for Canalea Pen Company. And so he is a mover and shaker in the fountain pen world, and his own pens are quite good, and this one is no exception. As you can see, it's short. Um, and it is threaded at the end. I like that it has slightly pointed ends. Otherwise, it's completely round, and it tapers up through the cap, and it tapers up through the barrel, and it necks down a little bit right here into the section, and then the section's nice and hourglass. Makes for a very comfortable hold. Now, although it's a short pen, I can still use it uh, without posting, but I do prefer posting it because of how short it is without the cap posted. And it is a very light pen. Posting it makes very little difference as far as the balance is concerned. Um, the pen obviously is a cartridge filler because it is too short to hold a converter. A few threads there. And I've just got a cartridge in there right now and it's not very full. Um, but I installed my own nib unit and basically it just unscrews. Um, like all um, Yovo or Bach nib units uh, do. And I believe that most of the pens that Jonathan makes are made for Yovo nib units. Um, these ones were unusual in that they were cut for Bach nib units, I believe. Anyway, I had a, a spare one lying around, and so I, I have this pen. Um, obviously, posted and becomes a rather large pen. Let's do a few uh, size comparisons here, just so you get an idea of what size of pen we're looking at here. Um, compared to, say, a ubiquitous Pilot Metropolitan, it is obviously quite a bit shorter. It's a bit thicker as well, and a Lamy Safari, of course, is going to be a bit longer as well. But um, looking at uh, pocket size pens, here's another ubiquitous pocket size pen, the Caveco Sport, and so obviously it's a bit larger than that. Has kind of the same form factor in that that you, you uh, will post it. Uh, however, a posted Caveco Sport is going to be considerably shorter than the posted Jonathan Brooks pen. And obviously it uses the large number six nib, which is kind of cool too, instead of the smaller number five nibs uh, that you find on the Cavecos. Uh, similar pens as well are the, as you can see it here, my little Pelican uh, M300. And it's just a little bit longer than that and certainly girthier um, another small-ish pen um, that it comes close to in size. This is one of those J.R. Bond pens. This is the roller bar, uh, ink ball version. Uh, they also have a nibbed version, but it's almost identical in size. Um, and a slightly larger pen would be this Pelican M101N, which a lot of people don't realize how small those are, but it's the same kind of size factor there. Um, and I'm sorry I kind of did this out of order, but we'll go ahead and we'll show you what they look like. Um, extended. You see that? It gets quite a bit longer. And this one becomes a full-size pen. And we did the sport before, but heck, we're here and we're in it. We're in the thick of it here. And then uh, this diminutive M300. The cute little thing. 
So you can see that it becomes a very large full-size pen with a full-size nib. So it's a, it's a nice form factor. It's a good pen. Um, we'll do a short, sorry about that, a short uh, writing sample, even though this nib unit was not uh, created or tuned by, by Jonathan Brooks. Um, but this is the Carolina Pen Company. Oh, this this rhodia paper is just oh this is Claire Fontaine it's so smooth, um, and that this is a pocket prototype. Uh, the ink this time around is um, Gerbin corner line. de Egypte. I don't know how to pronounce that, but anyway, it's the the shimmery kind of orangey ink from from Gerbin. Um The way this one is particular one is tuned is it's quite a wet writer. It's very very smooth. It's slightly stubbish, but only slightly. But again, you know, I, I think that if you pick up one of the Jonathan Brooks pens, you can custom order them uh, with whatever nib unit you want, I, I suppose. Um, I haven't checked that out myself, but typically I believe they come with uh, Bach, sorry, Yovo nib units. This one's a Bach, obviously. Um, and just for the heck of it, I'll just show you what it looks like to take one of these apart. Um, that's very, very simple. Um, I'm going to get a little ink on my fingers, but that's okay. It unscrews from the section like that, and then you can put whatever nib unit you want into as long as it's threaded for a it's a Bakken that's what this one's th uh, threaded for because the Bakken Yovo uh, nib units are not threaded the same way anyway this is the Carolina Pen Company pocket pen do take the time to go and check out his website look at all the gorgeous work he's done the Arushi work um, Jonathan has a long history of collaborating with other pen makers. Uh, he did a bunch of, um, or he still, maybe he still does. I don't know. He uh, he's done work, doing Urushi work on some um, some other people's pens as well as his own. Um, he does custom work, um, and if you have the opportunity to see him at a pen show, by all means do so. But support him um, if you are into handmade pens, handmade materials here in America. Um, and know that he is just a fantastic guy, and this is a fantastic pen, and from a fantastic company. And this has been the Carolina Pen Company Pocket Pen Review, and I hope you have a good evening.